He always thought of the scene as La Mar, which is what people call her in Spanish when they love her. Sometimes those who love her say bad things of her, but they were always said as though she were a woman. Some of the younger fishermen spoke of her as El Mar, which is masculine. They spoke of her as a contestant or place or even an enemy. But the old man always thought of her as feminine and as something that gave or withheld great favors. And if she did wild or wicked things, it was because she could not help them. The moon affects her as it does a woman, he thought.
those run-on sentence down your spine so that when the next deaths come, because they will, we will have vigor enough to remember their names. Speak them, angel, into our pillow at night and wear them in our hair in the morning.
the children exclusively, but only for the life of their childhood. All and every dandelion for the fields and the daisies thereof, with the right to play among them freely, according to the custom of children. And I devised the children the yellow shores of creeks and the golden sands beneath the waters, with the dragonflies that skim the surface of said waters, the odors of the willows that dip into said waters, and the white clouds that float high over the giant trees. And I leave the children the long, long days to be merry in, in a thousand ways.
whatever they may need. At the stars of the sky, the red, red roses by the wall, the snow of the hawthorn, the sweet strains of music, or all else they may desire to figure to each other the lastingness and beauty of their love. And to those who are no longer children, or youth, or lovers, I leave volumes of the poems of Burns and Shakespeare and of other poets, if there are others, to the end that they may live the old days over again freely and fully, without tithe or diminution. And to those who are no longer children, or youth, or lovers, I leave the knowledge of what a rare, rare world it is.